What's up, it's Quasimodo with Good Game Fun Time. At you with another Quasi Quickie. Today we're going to cover Torbjorn. Let's start with his abilities. His first ability is a scrap collector. So every time someone gets killed, you can pick up a piece of scrap. It's used for different abilities in the game. He uses his primary weapon, the rivet gun. Shoots straight shots. You can get headshots with it. And you can also use it as a shotgun projectile, which also gets headshots. He can use his forge hammer to upgrade and repair turrets. Uh, it can also be swung as a weapon. You yeah, can punch him in the face, melee. His best ability probably is his building of turrets. You can build the turret, and as you pick up the scrap metal, you use that to upgrade the turrets. The more scrap you have, the better. Uh, he does have a cap on his scrap amount and that is 200 scrap so just be mindful that you're not hitting your cap. It can also be used for his other ability armor packs. You can throw armor packs to teammates who are you know low armor and uh, it's best used in tight situations when you know they need to stop taking damage or prevent some damage. Um, he's mostly a defensive character so that's when you would use the armor packs to help your teammates set a turret down in the right spot. You know, guard a point, um, guard a choke point, put it on a payload and such. Uh, his ultimate is Molten Core. Uh, it just kind of enrages him and he can he has infinite uh, scrap, pieces of scrap. And that allows you to upgrade your turrets all the way to max and also protect your turret with uh, high damage shots from your rivet gun. Now he does have um, mostly defensive strategies, so he's reminiscent of a Team Fortress character uh, because he's focused on turret placement. So you want to you want to use him as a defensive pick to uh, guard points, um, upgrade your low health characters with some armor, and you want to put him behind a tank, you know, so that your turrets and stuff can be placed behind the tank you're not taking as much damage he's not really a front liner he's more of just you know a guard or placing the turret in a strategic spot to protect so and with the armor packs your teams lo your teammates love it um, he's a good pick if you know where to place your turrets uh, it's got a it's got a little bit of a cooldown so if you place one and you're in a bad spot you can run back wait for the cooldown and drop it again um, his synergies are he works well with tanks to soak up the damage um, and well with snipers who can pick off people that are trying to take out the turret. Uh, the turret's very valuable. Just make sure you guard your turret pretty well. You want to make sure that it's, it's not going to be damaged in any way. Um, so make sure you have a good balance. So those are your synergies. Um, your threats are Genji. You want to make sure that once he finds out where you are, that you can pick up a move and he doesn't hone in on you too well. He's basically a turret hitman. You just want to watch out for him meddling around your stuff. Uh, save your molten core to take out people rushing the turret. It's a really good idea. Um, that way you can upgrade really fast. You can throw out the extra health packs because you have unlimited scrap. Um, and just watch out for ranged characters, you know, snipers, and then characters like Farah. We can just lob a couple rockets your way and take out you and your turret really easily. Um, that, that's the maximum way to make sure your turret is up at all times is just to watch out for those two, few characters. Um, and it, just remember, after popping Molten Core, be sure to throw down those free armor packs because it's unlimited and upgrade that turret all the way. And then just take out anybody that decides to charge your turret if you can. And that's the best way to utilize Torbjorn. And this is another Quasimodo Quickie or quasi quickie on good game fun time i appreciate everyone who stopped by and if you like the video go ahead and poke that like button only once though because twice kind of defeats the purpose and in addition uh go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already um welcome welcoming new subscriptions all the time subscribers uh at 50 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway we're gonna do um a gift card on the platform of your choosing 
So just be sure to uh, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, everyone's welcome. Be sure to comment on the videos if you have any other ideas or you like the videos or what you don't like. And yeah, it's up to you. And again, I appreciate all the support. And as always, happy gaming.